Hey guys, welcome to my Summer Direction Crochet Along. This is the Overlay Mosaic version. My patterns are always written up for two techniques and they use the same chart, but you can read the chart differently to get this technique or my other technique is called interlocking crochet. This one, as you can see, you cut and tie every row. It does curl at the beginning for me. That's just a tension issue. And if you're counting here, this was our foundation section. I have a different video if you want to watch that one, or perhaps you know how to read the pattern and you're just checking out the video for a different reason. I don't know, but we are on Chevron A and this is row five because the bottom row actually counts as row zero. It's our, it's our actual foundation row, even though this is all the foundation section that hopefully is not too confusing. So this is row zero which means this is my main color and it's always going to be even numbers for my main color. And then this is my accent color or contrasting color and I'm using light blue. Start with a slip slip knot and our joining stitch. It goes under both loops like a normal single crochet. The rest of the single crochets in a mosaic pattern or in overlay mosaic specifically, they go in the back loop. So remember that the first one is trying to be strong and it's going under both and you just make a single crochet and that's the joining stitch. Then if you're reading the pattern it says single crochet one and this is US terminology and if you read the key of the pattern it explains that that really means because we're doing mosaic single crochet in the back loop only. That's just too many words to put in the pattern so it's shortened to SC okay. So we did single crochet in the back loop. Then DC1, double crochet one, really means a dropped double crochet because we're doing mosaic. We're going to yarn over and you have to picture this like a chart. So this is the purple stitch, the next one here, but we're actually dropping it down and we're going to use the front loop of the blue. And that's our dropped double crochet. And then it says single crochet two. So we're going to use the next stitch means in the back here you're going to have one that you didn't use because you don't want to add stitches. So we're going to do two. You can see how everything has to be lined up. Now if you're reading the pattern you see the star. My crochet along is designed so I'm only making it this width which is not that wide really. I mean it's basically a scarf with tails tassels on this side and this side which is kind of weird for a scarf because it's going to be really really long. <laughs> you can do multiple repeats which I explained in the foundation video. I would suggest nine if you want a full blanket. You can do less than that if you don't want it to be so wide. The star tells you now we've done essentially our border pattern which is a pretty boring border but that's the way it is. It's just some lines. And now the star tells you that this is where you're going to start repeating from if you're doing repeats. Now because this is a single crochet and the next one is going to be a single crochet, this is where you would put your stitch marker if you are hoping to keep track of such a thing. Because I only have one repeat, I don't really need a stitch marker. I'm just going to keep going. It says single crochet seven. So this is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now you can see that if you go back to count it feels like nine because of those ones that we had at the beginning which is why the stitch marker is helpful. And you can see also these front loops they're all available so that your next row if you need to use them you can. That's why we always using the back. It leaves it open. Now the next one, because it says double crochet, we're going to have to drop it down. And because you need to keep everything lined up, you can either count it. We know that we have seven up here plus those two. And this is right above here would be one. This loop would be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, which means this would be the loop that we're working on, right? You can count them that way. Or what I like to do is basically just follow it's easier if I put it down straight for you. You can see that these all line up, but if you pay really close attention, it does slightly tilt. Okay, so when you're trying to find your double crochet, 
feels like you're going this direction, but just barely. So do either counting your loops or follow the stitch down to get your double crochet. And then we're going to do single crochet three. And remember, there's a loop here that you're skipping because we're not adding stitches. We did the double, double crochet instead of using that one, right? So we got one, two, and three. Now we're going to put another dropped one. Here we go. And we're going to put six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And that's the end of the star, which means if you have a larger project, now you're going to start at the seven. So we had two and then the star. And now you're going to start here and you're going to have seven drops, right? And you're going to repeat it. Some people get confused when it says single crochet six and then single crochet seven. They think that you only need to add one more single crochet to make it seven here. But you actually need to have a total of 13, right? And now when you get to the end of your strip, which is where I am, we're out at the star. It says do single crochet one, then a dropped, which is easy here because these two lines kind of border it. It's easier to find the stitch and then another single crochet. And then don't forget that we have to put an end stitch. The single crochets have been in the back loop. The end stitch goes under both loops because we're nice and strong and anchoring everything at the end. And then we're gonna cut it off. Your tails don't have to be super long. I like to make my beginning ones longer just in case I need to um, pull it apart if I make a mistake. But now that we can see the pattern happening, I'm less likely to have made a mistake. It's safer for me to make short tails. And I'm going to move my stitch marker here. You might have your paper printed with some highlighters or something to tell you that now you're on row six. I just moved my mouse on my screen. And we, oops, that didn't work for me. Try again. It's a bit of a long tail, but I don't really care today. If you have plans for your tails, you might make them even longer if you're going to twist them or something. So I always start with that joining stitch. And my border sections are probably easy to memorize because we're going to make three lines, a dark line, a light line, and a dark line. And then the fourth stitch before, there's always four stitches at the beginning before the star because that fourth one balances it out to make the pattern even for repeats. So it's in brackets, which is also scary for some of you. I know I, I've heard the feedback. <laughs> They're not that hard. Brackets are telling you what to repeat sort of like the stars, except for the stars are saying you can do this repeat once, twice, seven, nine, whatever you like, right? The brackets are telling you how many times. This one says times two, you only do it twice. So we're going to do a double crochet and a single crochet, and then we're going to repeat it. We're going to do a double crochet and a single crochet, and then that is where our star tells us to start repeating. So we're going to start here with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you don't want to count, you can just look at what we've done before. You can see the eighth one is right on top of that blue dropped double crochet. And then we're going to go right in between. There's three stitches between those two blue ones. So we're going to do dropped, then the single, and then the dropped double crochet. And then we're going to have single crochet seven to the end. So that's not too hard. Four, five, six, seven. If you're still confused about the actual technique, try one of my other videos because I have a better tutorial. This video is really for showing you this specific pattern. The star, now we're at the end of the star, so we're going to do double, single, double. Just one of each of them because that's our border. It's a very exciting border. <laughs> it's not a fancy design for the border this time. And don't forget your end stitch goes in that last one under both the loops, just like a normal single crochet. 
plus then you have to cut it. These birds are cute and shiny but very sharp until you go to cut them when your hand's weird. It doesn't work all the time. So row seven, of course we're going to start with that joining stitch. If you have a hard time you can give it a pull. It makes that right by the knot. That's where you want to go. Sometimes when I was new to this I would miss that hole and I would start there and then I'd be confused about my stitch count. So don't miss it. Now of course this is our boring border so we're just going to go a single one, double one, and then single two. That's going to be very, you're going to get familiar with that pattern. Then the star tells us we're going to do five. So one, two, three, four, five. Then we've got some fancy brackets again. We're going to do our dropped one here. You can see this is, there's one gap and then this one for the dropped. And then we're going to do three single crochets. Make sure you're not getting that one. I mean, one, two, the third one is right on top of this purple bar. We're going to do it again. Drop it down in between those and do one, oops, two, three, and then we're going to drop it again. You can see this is our dropped. We're going to miss that one and we're going to pick up this one here. And then mine says four more single crochets till the end where the star is. Of course you're going to keep doing it if you have a larger project but we're only doing one repeat for the video just to show you the pattern. Now our boring three lines at the end here. Single, double, single, and an end stitch. Yeah, I don't know. Scissors don't work when you use the wrong fingers. You'd think I'd learn that by now, but I keep trying. All right, if you want a shorter tail, that's how short I can make them. I have tried to make them shorter because I thought, oh, I'm wasting all my yarn. But now I've gotten over it. I don't care as much about the tails. They just are what they are. It's just how it works. So now we've got those brackets again. You'll get used to seeing that. We're going to do double single, double single. We're just doing it twice. And you can move your stitch marker up a row or however you're keeping track of that. Then we're going to have six across, so we're going to start counting here. One, two, oh, my yarn is stuck. Three, four, five, six. We're going to put one double crochet. You can see that the blue and the purple are mirroring each other here, or maybe mirroring isn't the right word, but they're following each other. And then we're going to do, the bracket tells us, so we did um, six single crochets, one double, and then one, two, three, four, five singles, and then we're going to do it again. We're going to double crochet one, and single crochet five. One, two, three, four, five. So that's the end of our star, so you're going to repeat it. I'm at the end, so I'm going to do the border of one double, one single, one double, and an end stitch, just like that. We are on row nine. We're using our accent color or coordinating color or contrasting color, second color, however you want to think of it, light color. We're going to join our stitches together here and then we'll do one single, one double, and then two more singles before our star. 
Now we're starting with brackets and it says to do it four times. So if you need a stitch marker or a highlighter or a pen, wherever you remember to do it, but I'm going to count it with you here. We're going to start with three single crochets. So we go one, two, three, and then we drop down to do a double. Now we're going to do it again. Three single crochets. One, two, three, then we drop it down right beside that purple one. That's our second. Now we're doing it again. One, two, three. So here's our th finishing with our third double crochet set, right? So we're going to do it one more time. One, two, three. And then we're going to drop that down. You can make sure you count, line it up. This is the stitch and then the front loop. So this is the loop we're going to use. Then we have two single crochets before you go to the repeat where you are going to be the brackets again and you're going to do three, drop three, drop three, drop three, all the way down. Then the star ends and it tells us to put a final single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, and an end stitch right under both the loops at the end. Row 10, we are back to using our main color or a dark color or first color or whatever you want to think about it. We put it in that joining stitch just like so. Then our brackets telling us to do double single, double single. And then our star tells us we're going to start with four single crochet. One, two, three, four, then one double crochet. And then we're going to have to count nine. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then we're going to put a double crochet. It's going to be right beside that blue one. And we're going to do three more single crochets. And that gets us to the end of the star for our repeats. And then we're going to do our border where this time we're going to do double, single, double. And of course our end stitch. Don't forget that one. So row 11, back to our coordinating color, contrasting color, put our join stitch and do our little brackets that tells us to do single double, single double. Huh? Were you expecting it to say double single? Don't get tricked. <laughs> oh, I got to finish my little, my yarn split. So this time it's going to do single, double, single, double. There you go. It's a little different than we're used to, but it's okay. If you're reading the pattern, you figure it out. So we've got one single crochet. That's where our star is. I don't know if I said that out loud, so I just like to remind you. You can see it on the pattern, but I also like to say it. Then we're going to do a double crochet. Then we're going to do three single crochets. One, two, three. This one's going to drop down beside that purple. So we got one double and we have seven singles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then the double crochet drops down like this and Three more single crochets. One, two, three. Then we're going to drop it down once. 
And if you were repeating, you'd start with your single, double, single, double again in those brackets. But we're at the end, so we're just going to do the border of single, double, single, end. We're getting close to the end of this section. There's not much to this section. It's only a couple rows. And if you have more repeats, it looks more exciting. Mine's just bloop, but yours will be You like my sound effects? <laughs> We're on row 12, main color. Put your joining stitch in here. And then we have those brackets. It tells you double, single, double, single. If you look at the image, you can see that we're, we're keeping those lines dark, light, dark. And then we'll always have some sort of balancing stitch. So the dark, light, dark, and then that's the next one that you're not entirely sure what it's going to be. So you have to pay attention to the pattern. This time, because it's in the brackets, it tells us it's just another single stitch. We can move our stitch marker if you're using those. And our star telling us to start here if we're doing repeats over and over. We're going to do two single crochet. Then we drop a double. And you see this little square has been created. It panicked me at first. I thought I made a mistake. But it, once you get going, you'll see that it actually makes sense to have a square there. It should be lines and stripes, but the square fits. So... Like I was saying, one double, then 13 singles. So make sure that you don't use that one. You want everything lined up. We're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's right above the blue. 12 is above the purple. 13 is that gap. And we're going to put one double right beside the next blue one there. They're going to be nice and tight beside each other, good friends. And we'll do one single before the end of our star. So you go back here. I'm at the end. So I'm going to end it with double, single, double, and an end stitch, locking everything in tight. Thirteen, using our contrasting color, start with our joining stitch like always. Now we're going to do single, double, and then two singles. That's our star. Starting here, we're going to do three singles. Okay, one, two, three. Then we're going to do one double. Oh, I should finish the stitch there. <laughs> okay, one double and 11 singles. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Then we're going to do one double crochet. It's right beside the purple one. And two singles before we finish our star. I'm at the end of my row, so I'm going to do my border, which is a single. A double, a single, and an end stitch. All right. Cut that off. So we are on row 14. We're using our main color. Other than the border, it's actually all single crochets. It's making a line. So we're still going to start with our joining stitch. And you do double, single, double, single, although there's not much counting, doesn't matter how many repeats you've done, 
you're just going to have a lot of single crochets now we're going to go all the way across you can count them if you want if you want to make sure that you haven't missed a stitch or whatever if i wasn't talking i probably would be counting just because that's how my brain likes to do things but i am yapping so i can't really keep up with my count but it's okay because once i get to the end i know that all i'm doing is keeping up with those border lines so i don't really need to count And I am excited to see what colors you guys are picking for this crochet along. Mine are kind of just whatever I had here at the house. I like to use scraps. Okay, so I put a single, but I actually pulled it back out. I was talking too much, so I can see this in my lines. I need to make sure that if I was counting, I would know I was at the end, but visually I can tell also that I need to keep up with my border lines, double single, double, and the end stitch here. So if you wanted to count, you can count them. You'd count to 18 over and over and over and over. And that's all we do for chevron A. Now, the next section in the pattern is also called chevron A, but the row lines will be different. So I'm not, not making another video. You're gonna watch this video again if you can't follow the pattern and you wanna see my stitches again. The only thing that's different is the row numbers. And my back is all stripes. There are different techniques out there that grab different loops and you can make all sorts of fun things. Mine is just regular basic overlay mosaic crochet, okay? I haven't done any fancy things yet. I was too busy making new patterns to worry about fancy stitches. <laughs> but I will have more videos for this crochet along. Next time I see you, I'm gonna have this section repeated here. I changed my mind. I'm gonna make you just a small section just to see how the next repeat goes because the count can be hard to get. Um, First, of course, we're going to put our joining stitch in. Now, this is row 15 for me, but it's actually the same, same repeats as row 5. So, you're going to start with that single crochet. Then we're going to do our double crochet and our single crochet too. That's how the border starts, just like the other sections. And then we're going to have the star telling us to do seven. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then it says double crochet. And I know that can be scary to go, well, where do I go? It's too many, too many things there. So remember, you can count these stitches. This one lines up with the purple. This one here, you're going to count three down. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, all the way down. One, two, three, one, two, three. So now I know that this one, our next purple is that one. I'm going to skip it and I'm going to do the double crochet here. And you can also, because I'm showing it to you in the video, you can look here that there's actually between this double crochet, there's one, two, three three that I didn't pick up and then I picked up the fourth one okay and then of course don't use that don't use that for the next stitch you make sure you're skipping the chain or skipping that single crochet before we do one two three and we're gonna do our dropped just like that and then we have six and I'm not actually going to keep going. You have to read the pattern or rewind to the beginning of this video because then there's less editing for me and I'll be able to keep up with getting these videos out for you. So it feels a little bit like I'm cheating. I feel like I'm leaving you guys hanging. One, two, three, four, five. Here's my sixth before the end of that star. Then we're going to go single crochet one, double crochet one, single crochet one and our end stitch so I hope that if you need to look at the video you can just rewind we finished row 15 now we'd be doing row 16 which on the video happens to be row 6 okay so I don't want to leave you guys hanging I just I need to move fast to get all these videos out so maybe someday I'll be famous and I'll have a production team or something <laughs> but I'll see you guys soon.